Art is really nothing more than something that you have to say. It's an expression of yourself as an individual. This is art that you touch. This is art that you can feel. This is art that somebody else can go ahead and then make their own art with it. And I see hand-spun yarn as something that's not old-fashioned, but as something that can be a modern and contemporary expression. It's not so much the end project, it's the process. The actual act of making these stitches feels good. I think there's a big difference between hand-spun yarn and a lot of the mill-spun yarn that's out there. The machine is always going to be finer than I am. It's going to spin faster than I can. But I can make the yarns more unique. I'm placing the color and the texture where I want it to be. And so it's that much more engaging as you go through the process. Hand-spinning is not hard to learn. I would say that it's about like learning to ride a bicycle or learning to roller skate. Uh, Malmsted Design Studio has drop spindle classes for a group. This is a wonderful three hour intensive and it goes from abject beginner, this is the wool and this is the spindle. And by the end of three hours, you've got about six yards of yarn that you've made all by yourself. I'll be offering advanced drop spindle classes so that you can go forward with it, then transitioning to a spinning wheel and then of course lessons on the spinning wheel itself. I do teach Tamari as well. Tamari is a Japanese art, almost like origami and yarn had a child. Malmsten offers a huge range of hand-spun yarns, and especially for people looking for gifts for knitters, this is just a wonderful gift because this literally is the yarn they're not gonna find anywhere else. The other thing that Malmsten offers that's really hard to find in this greater New York City area is spinning supplies. Your creative options are that much better when you can control what the string actually looks and feels like. Whether it's with a bundle of hand-spun yarn that I've already made that someone takes home, or whether it's a student who wants to learn to make their own yarn. You can do almost anything with it. Uh, the sky's the limit, really. To find out more about fiber art or hand-spinning in New York, you can go to malpstenyarn.com.